MN for the pre-modern medicine era. The early 20th century was still an experimental period. Medics would prescribe extremely powerful narcotics like cocaine and heroin for a variety of ailments. Some people would self-medicate using concoctions that are now classified as harmful to the human body. On April 12, 1880, Evan Byers was born. His affluent upbringing allowed him to have a superb education even graduating from Yale University. In the early 1900s, he was an athletic young man who won numerous gold medals. When his father thought he was old enough, he appointed him president of Gerard Iron Company. He stumbled and damaged his arm during one of his matches in 1927. The cut wasn't serious, but it caused Byers a lot of discomfort, which he wasn't used to. As a result, his doctor ordered Radether for speedier healing, among other potential benefits. Byers followed his medic's prescription to only take a small spoon a day. Over a short period of time, Byers was also hit by the placebo effect as he was feeling great. So great that he started taking a whole bottle a day, then weeks later two, and after a year even three bottles of a day. History of Radether However, the substance that stands out the most for actually being prescribed by medics was Radether, or in other words radium combined with water. Ironically enough, when the product was released it was advertised as a cure for the living dead. The potion was manufactured by the Bailey Radium Laboratories in New Jersey. This company was founded by William J. A. Bailey who was not a certified doctor as he dropped out of the Harvard Medical School. However, he kept telling people that he graduated so everyone sort of believed him. Bailey and his team of chemists had done a bit of research on radium and found some hypothetical benefits for the human organism. This was at a time when radioactivity wasn't a very well-researched subject and especially what it can do to the human body. They knew that in high doses it could kill a person, but a very small dose, well distilled with water could be beneficial. The product was launched in 1918 to the whole of the United States. The benefits from Radether were very vague as the description only mentioned that it will enhance the vital processes of the body. This did not stop people from buying it and medics from prescribing it and as per usual the placebo effect took place as everyone was feeling much better only after a few doses. In 1931 Eben Byers got a surprise as his jaw literally fell down. The high consumption of radioactive water made his tissue and bones disintegrate from the inside. Byers didn't feel much pain as all of his nerves were also melted by the substance in time. The medics tried to remove all the putrefying tissue from his face and surgically build him a new jaw that would make him not look so disfigured. From 1927 when he first started taking Radether until 1931 when he stopped, Byers consumed over 1,400 bottles. With this much, his vital tissue and organs were also disintegrating inside his body which led to his death in 1932 when he was only 51 years of age. Bailey's company was shut down by the authorities, however, he tried to sell the same item under a different name. In 1965, Byers' body was exhumed to be studied and his remains are still extremely radioactive.